So previously, we've done a series on max boosting towers, we've done a series on the ultimate cross pathing mod, but we haven't done both. And that's what we're going to try out in today's one, starting off with the dart monkey. So we're going to first go for the 555 five, five dart monkey, and then we're going to give it the golden village buff. And we're going to see how long it lasts on balance. Is balance the best map for this? I'm not sure, but I figure it would be an interesting time because, again, with the 5 of 5 means you include the Juggernaut projectile, also. The fact that this map pretty much encloses all the walls means uh, balls will bounce everywhere. Also, over on the right hand side, we have these icons that are not es essentially towers, but they are race buttons made by Dad Jane, though. It just basically helps speed up the boring rounds if we need to. Not right now, though, since we kind of have to farm money. Yes, I didn't give myself infinite cash for this game mode because we're doing this in outside of Challenge Editor because uh, Challenge Editor caps at 300 rounds, if you didn't know. And honestly, I have a good feeling this will make it past 300 rounds. So, uh, yeah. Before we get to the 555 Dark Monkey, though, of course, I'll show you the build up to it. So, uh, let's try a 322. Nothing too interesting. Once we do a 332, though, you see we get a triple spike ball. You might have already seen a lot of these tower combinations from the uh, uh, random 5 5 towers. In fact, I've probably done more random 5 5 5 Ultimate Cross Path towers episodes than just classic uh, 5 5 5 towers itself. Just because it's more fun, honestly, when you play uh, on a randomized mode versus. Uh, I don't know, this is definitely, uh, well, an OP mode, as in, you can see I can cross path not just Dark Monkey, but. Pretty much everything, and I know firsthand that cross pathing like stuff like the farm would just lead to insane amounts of cash per round. I'm not sure how much money it's giving, but it's gonna get crazy if I get you know further upgrades than this. Anyways, it is time we upgrade to Juggernaut, so we have that um, lead popping, and I might as well go for the crossbow too. I don't think it really affects the uh, mod here, the uh, five, the four, three, three, four, three, four though might because it starts critting. And I would assume the Dragonaut Balls also crit. Have we seen a crit yet? I don't think so. But there we go, there we go, there we go. I saw it. I think it shot a different projectile that time. It might be uh, we just get the normal Sharpshooter crit uh, projectile, but that obviously does still more damage than the Juggernaut Ball. Now, I don't know if it's just me also, but does anyone see it bounce off walls? Yes, it does. Wow. <laughs> so it's disguised as a, a crossbow or a sharp shot, but somehow... Uh, I guess it's pointy enough to still be able to bounce off the wall. Anyways, as you see, this farming's got out of hand. This thing's already made 11k, and I've just now upgraded to 324. Here is a moat, by the way. Any bets on a half pass it dies? Well, that was fast. I think just that one crit there, because uh, if we get triple the shots and triple the crits, if the crits do 50 damage, then that's almost enough to solo Moab. So yeah, looking pretty uh, juicy so far. Now, what happens if I use the ability? Do we get hypersonic juggernauts or something else? I mean, it's juggernauts. Yep. Hypersonic juggernaut glitch, boy, boys. Interestingly enough, it turns into just a singular. Like, it doesn't use the uh, triple shot at all when it's active. But that makes sense because, well, middle path does the same thing. Triple shots do not give you a super monkey triple dart fan club. It just gives you a single dart. Nonetheless, still a net positive to the tower because we're getting uh, so much faster attack speed. Now, as you see again, we have achieved the infinite money glitch with this farm. Just a 424 has made 130k. So I guess I'll just finish it off. 525. I don't I don't want to risk uh, going for the bank though. Just because it might well require us to, you know, collect from it and all that. Although actually, never mind, I'll try it. Doesn't the Ivana Path auto collect once it hits fall? So in that case, it might not be a bad idea. In fact, yeah, just take a look here. Does it auto collect? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So you'll see once it hits like 12.5k, this next tick, there's the 12.5k cash out, which is pretty awesome. Now, Monkey Nomics, uh, I think this gives a normal, uh, how much? 12k. Sounds about right. But yeah, enough of the 555 Banana Farm Showcase. It is uh, the Dart Monkey Showcase, so now we're going to use the power of the race button to uh, skip forward a little bit. How about round 83? See how our darts doing, 93. How about DDTs? 444 Dawn Monkey can still hold on. Well, it can definitely start to see its struggle, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to uh, Ultra Juggernaut first. So now we get 
so many more balls because these ones actually explode upon expiry, creating even more balls. That crit as well. So yeah, we only need the power of any of the Golden Village buffs just yet, it seems. Let's go on over to round 99. Ultra Juggernaut still also seems to be doing fine. I'll have to have used the ability just for funsies. Well, but yeah, more Juggernaut balls, although, again, in a less concentrated, or rather in a single stream this time. And by far the Dark Monkey's biggest weakness, the bad. The thing is, I don't think a single, each single Juggernaut Ball can only damage the bad once, even if it bounces off the map multiple times and hits it. That's what I believe is the case. So let me just go ahead and use the ability to create even more, increase the amount of balls there are on the screen. And nice. Okay, FCMG damage is looking kind of rough over here, so uh, what happens if you upgrade now to Crossbow Master? Does it increase the power at all? Oh yes, it does. Right. Should mention that Cross Master shoots at a much higher pace at the, uh, um, versus the XX4, so it makes sense that now we get so many more Ultra Dragon Balls. I shall warn you guys, this is going to get laggy and fast, so we're probably gonna turn off fast forward here, just to improve the frame rate a little bit, at the expense of, I, I suppose, time. I have a good feeling that my PC may not be able to handle what's about to come once I do start you know, ultra boosting and all that, because we're still not even there yet. What I am curious to see, though, is the ability. Now they go at Plasma Fan Club. What happens? So use it. And, uh, we get, uh, Plasma Projectiles now that shoot out Juggernaut Balls when they explode. I think it might just be a sprite issue. If you guys don't know already, the way the Ultimate Crosspath mod works is that the coders have not manually set in what happens for each, uh, upgrade each cross cross path because there's obviously way too many of them so instead they're just algorithmically generated barring a few exceptions but i think this one is uh created by the algorithm so uh, yeah i still think it did an increase of damage when the ability was active but i don't know if it's so much stronger than you know just the fan club we'll try 130 for example infinite dt's this round i think the good thing is that i think it's a bit less laggy when the fan club is active because yeah there's so much less projectiles when you have this on so that's nice i suppose and now a good test to see it to determine whether or not we need to start ultra boosting it or not round 140 our dps per second is only uh 2000 3000 which is pretty weak smh my head let's use the ability okay this is much better much much better the single turret damage is just uh extend itself and uh, now we're able to be an F bad, okay? You see? So well, that makes sense, I suppose. You keep the 555 Dart Monkey for the group damage. But if you need to take down bads, definitely activate the ability. Now we're gonna start the uh, uh, boosted stuff by uh, doing Energizer just to give us a bit faster cooldowns on that ability. Not to mention the primary expertise too, but that'll be tied into the Gold of Village, which applies those mods to it, or applies those buffs. Once we start struggling, I believe we'll start adding- Oh, hang on, we just died to 162. I might have fast forward a little bit too much there, but let's try that again. It appears I might need to start adding a couple more buffs, so let me just start with the uh, base Chusan God, or the Chusan God Village. This only gives a tier 4 buff, by the way. I'll see if uh, this is enough. Wait, let me use the ability first up. I think we lost a couple lives there. So yeah, that ability is really important. Let's begin Ultra Boosting now. I think it's also important we start getting an emergency a homeland and a called arms just in case we need it. But uh, yeah, here is what the screen looks like when we have just an Ultra Boost and a called arms activated. It is already, that frame rate is already dropping and you can barely even see the track or the towers itself. Like, look how much stacks we have, I'm still missing. Yeah, it's already this rough. Not a good sign, that's all I can say. Now, I think we'll start pushing the rounds up a little bit while also adding buffs. So, let me start with the uh, Firm Brew. This is a nice, simple uh, permit attack speed, fierce damage buff. Yeah, folks, this is not even playable right now as it stands. We really have to start using that ability to get some relief. See so if activated it, and uh, yeah, look how smooth it runs while it's active. I wish. Uh, if only we had a uh, cooldown reduction uh, short enough or long enough so that we could have this up permanently. And right now, it's about 40-45% uptime. That's without primary expertise. If I added that, we'd probably get up to like 
60%, which is definitely much better, so... I think we're just gonna skip straight there. What do you guys say? Actually, no. Before that, let me get to 200, because I'm curious if just what we have at the moment is enough to beat, well, 200 rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and send 198, 199, and 200. Just curious if we'll have enough f bad damage, that's all. So far, it seems like with our uh, fragile FPS, it's doing a solid, uh, I don't know, 50k, 60k per second. Is that good? It's decent, actually. Yeah, it's gonna pop, it's gonna pop. Uh, bad news is that the uh, ability's off cooldown, so I'm not sure we'll have enough for the uh, f zongas here. But surely this amount of balls is enough, right? Yes, it is. Now, we just gotta wait for the ability to come up again so that I can beat f bad number two here. Because right now, the, uh, yeah, again, the ball damage is pretty weak. Honestly, though, without the ability, it looks like it would be very close to popping. But, yeah, well, fall is just short, so let me go ahead and activate the ability the second I can. Come on. I think it's already made multiple loops, so we gotta get it down quickly before it exits. The speed of these f bounds at 200 is no joke. So, come on. Pop, will ya? Holy crap, I almost died to the DT is... Don't die here, please. Nice, nice, nice. Again, keep in mind this is a normal game, so if I lose, uh, the monkey money goes out of my hard-earned pockets. So, uh, with that said, let's give us the True Sun God buff, and the other buff, too. That gives the primary expertise, so that we now have a way faster cooldown on that U-Jug. And it appears we are reaching closer and closer to the max amount of Juggernaut Balls on the screen. Because, uh, I think we've pretty much hit it, right? We have Homeland Active, we have uh, Tenex Ultra Boost, Dizzy Totem, Perma Brew, Primary uh, Expertise. Uh, so yeah, this is it, folks. This is what a truly max boosted 555 Dharma Key would look like. And it's not pretty, let me just say. Now I'll finally use the ability just to, uh, again, clear the map a little bit. I need to download some more RAM at this point. I'm looking at my task manager, and BT6 is taking up 3 gigabytes, which is a lot for BTD6. Now, I can't tell how close those f bards are to leaking, but we have the ability up again very soon, so hopefully I'm able to activate it before it leaks. Come on. Here we go with the ability, so uh, again, frame rate clear a little bit, and uh, come on, it's exiting, it's exiting. Ah, oh, we lose. Well, that did not survive as long as I thought, actually. Let's give it one more go for this round, though. Just to see if it's possible. Well, here we go again. I have it set to strong, so it's doing go a good amount of damage on the uh, first death bed, but not the second one. And uh, let's see if we can pop it, at least. Now, we return back to uh, 5 FPS with the amount of Dragon Balls on the screen. And, okay, those mobs almost exited. How about this last death bed, though? Okay, it should pop, but it also should exit at about right now so let me get ready to pause so that i don't lose my entire save here i think we're gonna fall just short though yeah you see if i unpause that we're definitely leaking to that so honestly i kind of expected the 5-5 dharma to survive a little bit longer than that especially since it was max boosted but maybe a different map is worth a try so we'll go over to logs where we have more time to pop things i guess I believe it has taken us two minutes to achieve uh, 15 seconds of game time, so uh, that's cool. Now, it seems like with this sandbox version, we don't have any f bads, but we can already see, uh, I guess just based on the no bad damage, that uh, we can definitely pop it a bit earlier versus uh, then on balance. All right, here's a good round to see uh, the uh, Carnage. Round 2 through 4 has uh, an f bad and a lot of them. Yeah, when I mean a lot, I mean a lot, because there's like... Three f bads and like six Noah bats this round. Again, just gotta keep it targeted and strong, and then use ultra boost on them constantly. So yeah, here we go. Oh crap, we lost to the DDT. Is well, yeah. Again, I'm kind of surprised and disappointed maybe that the five 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 dark monkey isn't as good as I thought. Although that probably just speaks more volumes about how OP free play is rather than. This guy would not do in great itself. It's like, keep in mind, this round's already higher than pretty much every degree 100 Paragon in the game, so that's gotta count for something, right? Well, either way, that's gonna do it. Uh, hopefully, if we try anything, any other towers like this, 
I'll pick something that's not as laggy as this one. I think that's a good idea. And if you have any good ideas, then let me know. Always looking for some. And thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.